A geometric series is like a geometric sequence, but with one major difference. A sequence is a list of numbers with commas between them. Here's an example of a sequence. But a series is a sum of numbers, so they have plus signs between them. Here's an example of a series. Notice there are plus signs between the numbers. If some of the numbers in a series are negative, they will have a minus sign in front of them. For example, adding negative 6 is the same as subtracting 6. In general, a geometric sequence is written like this. A, AR, AR squared, AR cubed, etc. And a geometric series is written like this, because it's a sum. Where A is the first term, R is the common ratio, and N is the total number of terms in the series. When you are given numbers in a geometric series, it's important to be able to find the common ratio, R. R can be found by dividing two successive terms. For example, if we're given the geometric series, negative 4 plus 12 minus 36 plus 108, etc., and we're asked to find R, we divide the second term, 12, by the first term, negative 4, and the answer is negative 3. So we can state that r equals negative 3. We'll check by using r equals negative 3 to find a successive term. For example, the second term, 12, times negative 3, equals the third term, negative 36. And the third term, negative 36 times negative 3, equals the fourth term, positive 108. A formula that has been derived to find the sum of a geometric series is this where Sn is the sum of n terms. n is the number of terms we're adding, a1 is the first term, and r is the common ratio. Let's do an example where we use this formula to find a sum. We're asked to find the sum of the first eight terms in this geometric series. Let's make a note of what we know. Because we're adding up eight terms, we can state that n equals eight. We'll also note that the term a1 equals 3. We can calculate the common ratio, r, by dividing the second term by the first term, which is 6 divided by 3, which comes out to 2. So we'll make a note over here that r equals 2. We'll check our value for r by dividing the third term, 12, by the second term, 6. And we also get 2 for that. So this confirms that r equals 2. We can use the formula for a geometric series to find the sum. We put in 8 for each n in the formula, 3 for a1, and 2 for each r. So solving this equation for s8 will give us the sum of the first 8 terms of this geometric series. 2 to the 8th is 256 and 1 minus 2 equals negative 1. 1 minus 256 equals negative 255. Negative 255 divided by negative 1 is equal to 255. And 3 times 255 equals 765. So we can state that the sum of the first eight terms in this geometric series is 765. Let's do one more example. We're asked to find the sum of the first nine terms of this geometric series. Because we're asked for the sum of the first nine terms, we can say that n equals nine. The first term, a1, is equal to 16. To find the common ratio, r, we divide the second term, negative eight, by the first term, 16, which gives us negative one half. So we'll state over here that r equals negative one half. We can use this formula to find the sum of a geometric series. We'll put in nine for each n in the formula, 16 in for a1, and negative one half in for each r. One minus negative one half to the ninth works out to one plus one over five twelve and 1 minus negative 1 half is equal to 1 plus 1 half. 
we'll continue our solution up here. 1 plus 1 over 512 is equal to 513 over 512. And 1 plus 1 half is equal to 3 halves. 513 over 512 divided by 3 halves is the same as 513 over 512 times 2 thirds. 513 over 512 times 2 thirds can be simplified to 171 over 256. 16 over 256 can be simplified to 1 over 16. So we can state that the sum of the first nine terms in this geometric series is 171 over 16.